Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. Today's video I want to talk to the people who are currently supporting a loved one through mental ill health. At the moment there is a lot of media attention and videos and all this kind of stuff for mental ill health, how to spot the signs and symptoms and what to do if you have got mental ill health. But as far as I'm aware there isn't a lot of support and advice for people who are supporting those people with mental ill health. So hopefully this video will give you some advice, some tips to help you get through this difficult time. And please, if you've got any questions, anything I can help with, please leave me a comment or private message me. I am more than happy to help you because this is not an easy time for you right now. So we'll do our best to make it as easy as possible. So let's take depression, for instance. That is a very selfish illness to have because the person goes very internal but you've got to understand it is not your loved one your loved one is battling so hard internally to get through this but depression is such a heavy burden to have so the first bit of advice i can give you is please do not tell any person with mental ill health to get a grip or pull themselves together or what is wrong with you this is an absolute no-no. So if you ever have said that to a person, you need to apologise and do not ever say it again. And the biggest reason for this is they're already telling themselves that. In their head, in that internal battle, they are going, why can't you get a grip? Why can't you pull yourself together? Just go and get a shower, just go out today. But the depression stops them. So whenever you say that to a person, get a grip, pull yourself together, you are reinforcing the depression because now the depression has got a, an excuse. Oh, well, they're telling me I can't get a grip. They're telling me I'm useless and pathetic, so I must be. So you're really feeding into that and you're going to make the depression worse and drawn out longer. What you do need to give this person with any mental ill health is a bit of TLC a bit of tender loving care, telling that person with your whole heart, I am here for you, I am here to support you, I'm going to take care of everything else, all I want is for you to get better. So now what you're telling the subconscious is that they are loved and that they can take that pressure off and everything is okay and you can focus on healing yourselves. And it may be hard and I'm not saying it's a nice thing to go through yourselves but all these positive words that you tell that person the subconscious is listening so it will speed up the healing process a lot quicker just by giving them that TLC. For your own mental health I suggest that you do your hobbies making time to be creative especially so if you have any little crafts or anything you can start up even if it's just sat on the settee embroidering on a night Doing those creative things as the person supporting will help get rid of all the extra emotions you give on to yourself. You do take a lot on and it is so hard when you're having to go to work full time, cleaning, cooking, making sure there's food in the house, making sure that person's taking the medication if they're on any, making sure they're going to doctor's appointments, hospital appointments, you name it. And believe me, I totally understand. I totally understand the pressure that is on you. But mental ill health is not a life sentence and it is a temporary situation. So if you can tell yourself that, keep in your mind and start to really process that this is a temporary situation, it does make life easier. I promise you. It is a temporary situation. And there is a lot of advice out there and knowledge on things such as depression. So I would advise you as well to research and don't just go to the main NHS websites, really throw your net wide and really research things from a lot of different angles. So you get a more rounded knowledge of what it is. And because depression is such a unique, selfish thing that what, think, what something says on one website might not necessarily resonate with your situation or your loved one's situation. So the more different kinds of knowledge you get on any of the mental ill health, the better you are to prepare to help that person. And they have to help themselves to actually get through depression. 
you can give them a million different ways to get over it but they themselves have to find that one way that will help them and it may be just a spark maybe someone will say something one day that will snap them out of it or they have to go and get the medication or the counseling or the holistic treatments or the hypnotherapy for instance because I do work with people who have depression and who have had depression for a long time but something has to click and something has to trigger and change within themselves to want to get over it so the more you create that loving kind environment the quicker they will want to snap out of it if you keep saying to that person get a grip pull yourself together you need to go to work you need to do this you need to do that it's going to make things worse and they won't be able to get out of that situation because those negative thoughts and those negative words are really feeding into the subconscious and really feeding that depression even more so we need to starve the depression of the negativity and feed the subconscious with kind loving words thoughts and actions and you know what as the support of the person with mental ill health you get stronger you learn so much about yourself and how much you can take, what you can do and the knowledge you get and the experience. It is worth it to go through something as traumatic as this. You do change and you do become stronger. So there are positives no matter how dark those times are and they can get very dark. When you do come out of it, you look back and you think, if I can get through this, you can get through anything. And you become an unstoppable force. So bear that in mind as well. Each day that you get through it, you are learning, you are growing, you are getting strong. Even if you feel weaker and you've had enough and you're tired and you just want it to end, it will. So hopefully this little bits of advice that I'm giving you will really help and get it over and done with in a short amount of time. So let's talk about antidepressants as well because antidepressants can change a person so what antidepressants do is they level a person out so they don't feel down but also they won't feel the highs either that can be hard for a person to understand so when the person with depression tells you they love you but you don't feel it again it's not that person it's the medication so medication is fantastic for helping a person get out of it and masking the symptoms but once the medication's kicked in you also then that person also then needs to help themselves get off of the depression and off of the antidepressants and I stru truly strongly advise that the medication is not a cure and I promise it is not a cure do not allow your loved one to be on antidepressants for the rest of their lives. The side effects alone are just heartbreaking. So once they're stable, you can give them a million different ways to get over the depression and giving them an opportunity to explore different avenues as well. So if counselling doesn't work, try hypnotherapy, try Reiki, try anything, try going for a walk in nature or getting away for a weekend or anything, try anything don't allow that person to stay on those meds forever or a long time please i'm begging you because again it isn't them and they're numbed so and it isn't fair for you also to live with someone that can't feel the highs in a relationship even though they can't feel the lows and feeling lows is part of life as well you've got to understand and people can get down and stressed and tired and anxious these are all normal emotions to feel as a human especially in today's society with all the pressures that are put on you but it's getting knowledge and experience and having these little tricks to help sort that out and move you past that phase so you can get enjoying life again i really hope this is making sense there's just that much involved in this that it's hard to know what to talk about first so a couple of bits there just to recap so far you do take a lot on as a person supporting someone with mental ill health that is a fact but <clears throat> it does make you stronger so and it is temporary keep that in your mind keep telling yourself that believing it in your head and in your heart that it is a temporary situation and putting steps in place to make sure it is temporary 
by giving them a loving supporting environment gaining knowledge yourself so you can advise the person so is that person usually creative but the depression or whatever mental ill health is stopping them from doing that we'll get some art supplies or something in for them to show one that you're caring and thinking about him and then when they do feel like they want to do it again they've got an incentive they've got this new thing to play with or create and it just eases them back into the, the usual selves or even a stronger and happier person than before because they've come through this extremely dark and painful time please do your best to control that negativity and having a go at him and shouting at him and pushing him to do things they're not ready to do the more you push somebody it's in the nature to go no 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 i'm not ready so by creating that loving supporting environment for them for them you're just giving them that breathing space giving them that freedom to hopefully explore and see what will work for them so you both can move on with your lives and you will be stronger so you also why you have the opportunity is making sure you are eating right keeping your immune system up immune system up sorry because you are under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure because you're still having to take everything on making sure you're eating and boosting your immune system is one of the biggest pieces of advice i can give you because if you get ill and no one can look after you you're in a bad situation so lots of fruit lots of veg organic if you can um eggs they're healthy for you I'm, I'm big on nutrition so anything i can help with that um even if you're just grabbing a smoothie like a proper smoothie though not one with full of sugar and maybe putting some wheatgrass powder in or spirulina powder just to give you that boost at least you're getting some nutrients and again while this person is suffering with depression and they're locked in the room and they're not talking or they're sleeping a lot you will have time then to cook yourself a healthy meal to do your creative hobbies to watch the telly you want to watch and giving yourself that bit of space and i really really hope that you have friends like i have and that they are there to support you i mean my friends are magical i love you guys and i know you are there for me so hopefully you have that support network too and if you haven't i'm here let me support you honestly it's so important to have someone there that you know you can talk to and just let it out even if it is just unburdening yourself and letting out that tiredness that's absolutely fine to do that you are only human and there will be times where you just want to scream and you cry don't cry in front of them this is another bit of advice and i know this may sound a bit weird but it is important to release that emotion so if you do feel like you want to cry please go and cry but not in front of that person because again that is they will see that that is a failure on themselves and that again is going to exasperate the mental ill health so just go to a different room do it at work in the toilet or go around to your friend's house and have a cup of tea and a good cry on the shoulder whatever it takes you also need to release your emotion because again that stress keeping that trapped emotion inside will mess up your mental health as well so please 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 cry and let it out run yourself a really nice red art bubble bath put some music on and just let the tears flow whatever it is to help you release that trapped emotion and that big build up because it is really difficult so i hope that helps what else there's just that much to talk about in it so hopefully that makes sense and like i said please you are going to get through it it is temporary it may be a long temporary we're talking like six months to a year but it is still temporary and you will be so strong when you come out of it so see this is an opportunity to see how much you can take and thrive because you can thrive on it you just got to be clever about it and don't think that their behavior is aimed at you and taking it personally because that isn't it's not them and they're not saying or doing these things to spite you i promise again they're internal they're battling it they're screaming at themselves to get a grip they're screaming at themselves to get over it and move on and they're going what is wrong with me why can't i do this why can't i go to work anymore 
So trust me, they're giving themselves a hard time. So you don't need to give them a hard time as well. And ignore anything they say negative. Just keep repeating to them, you're in a loving, supportive environment. I'm going to take care of everything. You just get yourself well for me, please. And making sure they're drinking a lot and keeping an eye on any side effects that they may be having due to the antidepressants or whatever medication they're on. Reading books, watching videos on it, really getting knowledgeable. So then when they do start to feel better, you've, you, you're armed with a lot of things that you can give them so they can really move on, cure themselves on it, and you can move on together. Or you both be stronger. You will be different people. So there's no point thinking to yourself, I wish things would go back to the way they were, because it can't. But it can be better, stronger, and really, it, it will be better. It's a tough subject and a tough thing to go through. So I'm here for you. I will give you as much advice as I possibly can. You are not alone and you are really strong for helping and supporting your loved one. So be proud in that fact. Really push yourself to give that loving, caring environment. I really, really understand the pressure to carry on life. You've got to go to work, you've got to do everything else and maybe pick up their chores as well if they help around the house. So I trust me, I know it's tiring, but you can do it and I've got you. So see you soon. Have a lovely day. Take care, guys. Bye.